Okay, well, that was a great game. Thanks for the 37,000 that came out on a Wednesday night. I'm sure glad we won the game for them, and, and, I, and our team deserved to win this game. They worked so hard, uh, and uh, it was really disappointing in the Memphis game. We had tons of opportunities in Memphis and didn't collect on them, just kind of like we did the first half. We had a lot of opportunities and didn't connect. Uh, but I think our obviously our defense is playing hard. With, uh, the sacks were big for us. Our coverage in special teams was big. They never got a big play. Um, and our offensive line blocking was excellent, for, particularly for the run. And I thought uh, Aaron Price did a great job in play selection late when everybody was expecting us to throw um, and uh, ran some made some really great calls where we ran the ball in for, for touchdowns, especially that 32-yard draw play this is to set that series up to march down there. But these kids never gave up, and, and uh, they have great character. A really, really, really nice bunch of kids, as you guys can tell by interviewing them. And, um, and that was a good team we beat. How big is it to come back? In the well, I think that's what made it so, so such a character win for us. Because um, you know, I felt like we had to play our best to beat this team, and I don't, I don't think we did. I think we should play to maybe our showed our best character, but we can still catch the ball better and execute uh, in the red zone better than we did. And um, but I think that I think the, the getting the sacks like that is something they weren't expecting from us. And and uh, Osei put in a four-man front instead of a three-man front this week, and we rushed it with three. Pass, or four pass rushing defensive ends in the game and two only two linebackers tried to push everything to the outside and um, it worked. We got to them and, and our kids played well in the secondary too. Let's talk about mm -hmm. the decision to go for it on fourth down. Did, there didn't seem to be any hesitation? Well, there was some hesitation. Uh, uh, we called timeout, didn't we? Mm -hmm. yeah. But after you were already on the field. Uh, well, yeah, I thought, you know, geez, we got the ball on, the, what was it, on the 12-yard line or something, you know. We don't make it here. It's you know, kick the field goal now and then and then score a touchdown and go for two, or just go for it right now. You know, we, we didn't we didn't come here to uh, to mess around. We came to win, and uh, so that was that's that made it a little easier. And seeing how far they had to go, uh, you know, it was close in there. And Buckram made a great catch because he wasn't wide open. It was a great catch, you know, and uh, for him to come back after he had. I think the play before that's when he missed for the touchdown, wasn't it? Yeah, a couple. And so for him to come back, what confidence is that? And for Trevor to throw the ball to him and for us to choose that play, you know, because he was open. They kind of picked, accidentally picked the, re the defensive backs off. We're trying to throw slants inside, and then he was running a flat route. He just runs right to the sticks and turns around, and there he was. Made a great catch. He did a lot of excellent things after he had the ball. Back-to-back back three and outs by the defense late in the game. Oh, it was awesome. Yeah, really awesome. It was our defensive line, I think, Brett, that was uh, seemed to really uh, put pressure on him, made him move in the pocket. Um, and, again, our, our, our secondary, you know, guys weren't running down there open all over. We're, we're playing better. We're playing a lot of better. Uh, our young guys are playing better as we get along. And just saw Deshaun Grayson had a wonderful game, you know, and Roselle Smith played better t today than he has. And so we got – and, and our special teams was very good. They didn't get a punt return, you know. We got the ball out on kickoffs pretty good. Got a real good punt return from Jeff when we had to with no penalties. And uh, we punted the ball better and we kicked off better and we kicked our extra points and field goals. All that kind of stuff was, was better than it has been. So going back to that fourth down, though, it really seems like by going for it on fourth down, you're, showing, you're saying to your team that – you have the confidence that they can not just score a touchdown here, but possibly score another one and take yeah. the lead instead of playing for a tie. Yeah, we weren't we're, we weren't playing for a tie. We we knew it. You know, everyone's adding up all the plays up there in the press box, and then we can do this, and we can do that, and we and we, everybody just kind of said, you know, it's only three yards. Let's get it. I wasn't particularly. We weren't expecting to go the, the ball to, to Buckram on that play. We we're looking to throw the slant, but they stepped in front of the slants and couldn't get out to Buckram, and that had. It wasn't like he was wide open either. A guy came over there pretty quick. It's been a weird season, and now you control your own oh, destiny. destiny. Yeah, and we've still got a lot of things to improve on. You know, we're still we're going to be a passing team. We have to catch the ball better. You know, uh, uh, maybe we aren't a passing team. You know, Buckram running the ball so well. Maybe we need to. 
continue to do that, but we are blocking well for the run. This was a this was this was a better defensive team than Houston. They had bigger, better, stronger uh, linebackers and D line. They're, they were. Uh, it was. Uh, I didn't expect for us to have that many opportunities um, that we had. When they uh, dropped that interception for a touchdown there at the end of the game, did you kind of feel like maybe it was your turn to win? The well, game? I felt I, a couple of those plays, uh, Brett, as they went along, I just felt like, um, you know, we kind of had the brakes going our way. It was just like, you know, if we, I was thinking to myself, talking to the coach, if we stop them right here, you know, we got a chance, and we stopped them. I said, now this would be really important. If we can take the ball and drive down the field, this would be a real important position. It would turn the tide, and sure enough, we drove it down the field. And again, I'd like to thank everybody for coming because I know it was a stretch, you know, playing on a Wednesday night. And, um, but I'm sure proud of proud of UTEP and El Paso. They turned out and it was great support. And, and um, come back because because we'll be back soon. Were you a little worried when you saw the crowd at the very beginning? Well, I'd say it was a late so arriving <laughs> crowd. Crowd, but I bet there were some traffic jams out there. I bet there was because people getting off work, you know, and coming in. But gee, our marketing and Bob Stoll did a great job in promoting and getting everything, getting all the information out. And so do you people, you know. I mean, this is free advertising when you write us up and when you come to our practices and stuff like that. So we really appreciate you. Helping out too, because you you want us to do good too. I know you do. Coach Holiday really took the receivers' performance the first six games real personal. Talk about the work he did this past week to really. I think I think I think all the coaches have worked real real hard, and uh, you know, <coughs> Coach Holiday should, and you know, each coach does. He's that kind of guy, and he's got a great relationship with those kids though, and he'll pull them along, and uh, and we'll we'll play better. I think Marlon McClure were expecting to do some more with him, and he kind of got a gr uh, cramp in his, his in his calf, and then he got a thigh bruise. He still returned kickoffs, but we're still looking for things for Marlin, too. Play calls at the end of the game. Does this indicate this is Donald Buckram's team right now? Um, it sure was his night tonight. Uh, it sure was his night tonight, and uh, I'd say the offensive line's night. Uh, and most of the time, Trevor had time to throw. The only time that he was rushed was on some bootlegs where they – held our receivers and we couldn't get open on the bootleg and he had to come back out but they weren't static drop back passes he was moving more so um, sure a lot of fun cool.